For me, building these young adults into future leaders is a huge part. Even my recall, so I yell, we are avid, and they yell, we are leaders, we are scholars. Just drilling that leadership and that ownership and that confidence at such an early age is so key into their excitement for education, their motivation for being here. Um, especially with our students, they come in feeling disadvantaged. So giving them that confidence, that leadership, that character, and giving them a safe place to develop it is huge. Um, in AVID, we do a lot of posters and we do a bunch of activities such as uh, we did a country poster where it just, you bring out your true self and you show like who you really are and you and your your classmates come together and once you present you just show like your true character and you just express everything out. Uh, we just like like to collaborate for any projects we're doing. Uh, it doesn't matter if we're just writing a simple paragraph or even coming together for another poster board. Uh, it just all comes to how you want to participate and what how much information you want to put into the group to help your teammates succeed. Well we, we start in the off season so in March, we go through the Winner's Manual book, which was written about a dozen years ago. We go through with all our current going to be seniors, we call them STVs, and we spend 12 weeks going through this book on leadership. I want to front load the kids and really try to set the stage. It's just me and, and, it's just me and, the, and the seniors. And then we do a lot of uh, character training on Wednesdays. We do Ambassadors of Compassion in the off season, which is a new program that started two years ago. We do that with our younger kids. So we spend a, a long time and a lot of energy on, it's not just leadership and character, it's more about loving each other and learning to, to bond with each other. Um, it's, it's mostly bonding, like even if we're not, like sometimes we'll, we won't even like practice sometimes. we we'll just be coming here, talk about like ourselves, like you'll have, like you did today, you have all of us stand up, we say good things about each other and then like we'll go around the room a couple times and uh, we will just like, we'll notice things that uh, they can, that we don't know about the kid. Like he'll say what, one thing like we don't know about you and it just brings everyone together, just the bond's just crazy. That's what he focuses about, just love. Like lo out loving the opponent, out loving everybody else. Well, we do this every week, especially on Wednesdays, every week we watch film during sixth period, but on Wednesdays we don't watch film. We talk about character and what it's like to be a better father, a better uh, student, or a better brother, a better son and he calls it uh, being a champion for life. And that's what we go by, like all the seniors, we get a, a winner's manual. He calls it the winner's manual. And it's just like a book to go by, a book that, that we call it our Bible because it teaches us how to grow as a team and how to work together. Uh, I've never felt that football, as long as I've been doing this for 40 years, has ever been, to be successful, it's not about the X's and O's. It's about the love that the kids have for each other. Uh, we teach a lot of things out of a lot of different books. And for football, we try to teach them that it's not the opponent that's the enemy. You're playing for the love of the guys behind you or the love of the guys that are in front of you. So we spend a lot of time talking about out loving our opponent and how, what does that look like though? What does it look like to have character when nobody's looking? What does it look like to have a loving attitude among your peers and your teammates and your coaching staff? That's why we spend a long time doing this. He's preparing us to be champions for life. So he says our life is bigger than football, so he'd rather be raising a lot of young, young good men than a bunch of young good football players. Everything you learn now is going to be brought up to you when you're older. Is it to have an effect on your kids, your people around you? Is it to affect everyone? And everyone's going to be surrounded around your um, your era here, just the way you feel and characters that bring everybody up.